Well guys, today's video is gonna start with Subway, but why? Oh, because I still have to get out to my campsite and well, we're losing light as I speak. All because I had to work at Starbucks. You know, days like this happen and sometimes I'm not able to pull out my camping stuff and make a meal. Now I could have made a mountain house or I could have made like a little thing of noodles, but today I wanted something a little bit different. So Subway is always a good solution. But now, now that we have that, it's time for us to get out to our campsite and wow, I found us a good one. Now, according to this, I am 11 miles or 22 minutes away. So I may not make it before dark, but don't worry, I'll show you what the campground looks like in the morning if it's dark when we roll in. You know, sometimes it just happens this way. Now I like to try to arrive at my campsite a little bit earlier rather than a little bit later, just so it's easier to find, especially when I'm at an improved campground. That way I'm not shining my lights into other people's space. However, tonight it's just not looking like that. we made it just in time to see the sunset and I think we can all agree it was gorgeous but I'm about to tuck in for the night and then I'll show you what this campground looks like and talk to you a little bit more about it whenever we wake up in the morning this has been a really productive day for me but now all I can think about is eating some food and resting so I'll see you in just a minute mm, good morning everyone I was just folding up my blankets and getting ready for the day just a little bit. And well, I slept great here. This was an amazing spot and I'm really happy that I came back here. Now, last year, whenever I was coming to this area, I found this campsite on just one of my apps that I use and I wanted something that was easy. It had been kind of wet in the area. I didn't want to go out to the national forest because I didn't want to get out there and get in some type of way. And so as I was scrolling along, I found this, the Horseshoe Bend campground just outside of Rogers. And I was very excited because whenever I got here, much like last night, it was pretty well dark. And so I couldn't really see a lot. But when I woke up, the view out my door was gorgeous and it was perfect and it was the perfect fall day. So I decided that I definitely wanted to come back here whenever I'm in this area again. So since I'm doing some things in the Rogers area, this was a perfect stop. So without further ado, let's play the best game on the internet. Where did we wake up? Here we go and out this door. Oh, absolutely wonderful. I am going to need some sunglasses though, because already, ooh, just that little, that little bit, you, you can see it. Oh, these will do. Ooh, this is, this is better already. So let's take a look around. We do have some neighbors in this area that's okay because I decided that having the improved campsite actually was more valuable to me than having a remote campsite for what I need to do in this area. You know, I have traveled all over the country and I've stayed at a variety of different kinds of sites and I like to have a good balance. So a paid site is definitely worth it from time to time. But I'm gonna show you all around a little bit more. And uh, while I do that, I'm actually going to get dressed for the day because I have some activities planned in this area, which you'll see on a, a different upload. But um, check this out, it's beautiful out here.
Oh yeah, this is nice. This is super nice out here. And in fact, this would be a nice place year round, not just during the fall when the colors are kind of popping behind me. Oh yeah, I, I like this campsite a lot. And it was actually pretty reasonable. I'm here during the off season, which means that the bathrooms are not available. However, I still have a fully electric site for only $18 a night. That is a good deal in this area. Back up we go. And back to the campsite. Okay guys, as you can see, it's a gorgeous place out here. We just took a little bit of a walk just to enjoy the morning and wow. Now I was talking to you about how much this site cost. Well, whenever I went to go make a booking in the last kind of few moments of the night, I will say, now I will say this, if you're trying to make a booking, try to go on recreation.gov before coming out here. Even though they do have the QR codes on the poles themselves, it's better safe than sorry. I've said that time and time again, and I will continue to say that. But as you can see, there is no bad view here, really. Even from the interior sites, like the one that I have, I can see the water, I can hear the birds, the squirrels are all around chattering, and I have some beautiful views of the fall foliage as I'm out here right now. It's pretty nice, I will say that, which is why I wanted to come back again and share it with you guys. But with that said, I have some things to do. I'm gonna go into town. Since I am near Rogers, there's a few options for places that you can go and things you can enjoy, such as the um, Daisy Air Rifle or Air Gun Museum is actually located in Rogers. Just up the road a little ways, Bentonville has a wonderful, amazing, free art gallery that's called Crystal Bridges. It's one of the best in the nation. I definitely encourage you guys to check it out. Not to mention in Bentonville, they have some other really cool things, including the official like Walmart Sam Walton Museum, which is kind of cool and definitely something that I think we're gonna have to do. And we're only a few miles away from something called the War Eagle Mill, which I think I might actually go out to today because it's absolutely a gorgeous day. And it's just after lunch at the time of me actually getting to this point of the video so I think this is a good time to go when they're not packed. Now as always I put everything kind of into its place and I already for the most part did that. If you're interested in what my routine is while getting everything together in my personal van I do have a video in my playlist for that. The only thing I'm not going to be doing is I'm not going to be throwing out my trash just yet because it's not very full and I don't want to be wasteful of the plastic bag. So I think it's time for us to uh, close this up and then Let's get on the road. Don't worry guys, we'll be back to enjoy this campsite a little bit more later on today. This is definitely a really nice one though, and one that I have found to be a great location for all of the things that you can get to. Not only the things that we just discussed, but also there's tons of hiking in this area. There's some really awesome mountain biking trails. So if you are into mountain biking, they have it covered in this area. There's also the abandoned community of Montenay, which is super cool and one of the first things that I did in this area way back early on in the channel. And then there's countless other things that you can do in this region that are just within super short driving distance. And so that makes this a perfect campground for activities. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull down my window shade and then we're gonna just do a little drive through as we're exiting so you can kind of see the layout of how this is set up. And uh, yeah, you might be interested in checking this out when you're in Arkansas.
Good morning, adventurers. It's day two here at this beautiful campsite and I'm actually packing up, getting ready to go. It's a little chilly this morning. And so, uh, you know, fall attire, we love that. But um, right now I'm just kind of going through my refrigerator and organizing it. Yesterday, I took a trip to Walmart, picked up a few things and, and let me show you. A lot of you have asked me about my refrigerator. This is an Alpicol. It is a 20 liter and it has been fabulous. Not to mention, when it folds down, it fits directly under my bed right there. Now, one of the things that I like about this is that I can put a lot of different stuff in here. And so, yesterday, they had candy for sale, half off. And this is residual Halloween candy, of course. So I picked up some Halloween candy just so that I can have it in there. I also found these little bobas, which I am so excited about. If you've been watching my channel for very long, you know I have become obsessed with these. And um, so finding one that I can actually take with me on the road is really, really nice. And they come in cases. In fact, this is what the little cases look like right here. So that was a big win. Also in here, I have a few other things. I went to Aldi and picked up some pasta the other day. So when I was at the store yesterday, I picked up some sauce. I have been trying to drink more waters. So I'm trying different kinds of waters. So this is a really fun one. I tried it out yesterday. So, so good. And then other than that, once you get into the layers of my refrigerator, you'll see I have some butter. I have some garlic down here. I have some egg alternatives because they keep a little bit longer and they don't break. So that's kind of nice. Of course, I have just the regular staples, some cheese, some garlic butter also. And um, over here, I have some delicious like sauce that I found that has been just delightful. I like to use this with my breakfast tacos whenever I make Mountain House, but also I have found that other kinds of foods really benefit from the flavors in this. So I like this, not to mention, again, I don't like to have glass in the van. So this was in a nice bottle for that. So there's that. I have a couple of different kinds of special cheeses down here. And then I have some chicken salad. And then other than that, on this side, I have some little rice puddings. I can actually put a lot of stuff in there. So this morning I was just organizing everything, getting everything in place and um, getting ready to hit the road. Somewhere in this area, there is a very angry dog and somewhere up there, a very loud plane. Okay, that, that's not the most calming, but, but this view though, this view. Now I did buy a couple of other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the back. These are just regular food items little snacks. I also have a mountain house in here because I was thinking about eating it this morning, but for the time being, I'm just going to set everything in this section so it's not falling in the back. And then I'm going to go through and organize a little bit more, but some things have changed. And so I'm not in a big rush to get these things organized. And what I mean was I was initially going to be in this area for a little bit longer and some things have changed. So since they have, I'm going to have to be going back to Texas to base camp, but there's some positive to that. I have some packages waiting on me. So I'm very excited about that. However, instead of putting away the groceries that I got, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them there because I'm going to be at base camp for a little while. I always go home for the holidays. And so I'm going to be doing that. And so this stuff will just go into base camp instead of having to find a place in the van. And, and that works out pretty well, except the mountain house. The mountain house will stay in the van because I always keep the mountain house in the van because, well, it's my adventure food. Why wouldn't I have it in the adventure van? I also picked up this bag, which is a bag of games. And well, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense right now, but it will in the future. And so I'm just going to keep them back here also. You know, that's the nice thing about having a van is even if you aren't necessarily using it just as your travel vehicle, you also have cargo space. In fact, that's part of the reason why I left my bed the way that I did, because if I ever need a full on cargo space, I can actually take this bed out and it completely collapses down and then I can have most of this space right here. And should I ever decide that I fully need this, I can actually take this guy out and it can become just a regular cargo van again. Now there have been some instances where that has been super handy because I needed to haul something. And so I can actually take that out, which I really love. But enough about my van. Let's go look around the campsite one last time before we head out. I have really enjoyed it here. It has been so nice and so calming. And um, I definitely recommend this to you guys. Well, after looking around, it's now time 
for us to tie up our trash and find a place to dump it. And last but not least, we reach around this and we turn off the lights and we're ready to go. Now, I will say this, last night, whenever I was sleeping, I heard something kind of weird. And uh, I was like, what is that? You know, you're at a campground, you're close to neighbors, it could be anything. Woke up this morning and found out that it was in fact just one of those little small, tiny like twigs that's come down off of the tree. It had come up and hit the top part of the van and kind of slid down the entirety until it made it to the front end. So you know that that happens when you park under trees sometimes. But you know, other than that, good night's sleep, solid, comfortable, amazing place, good shade during the day. So even yesterday when it was a bit warmer, I was still good. The sunset from no matter what site is gorgeous. And the price point for this to be an electric site, super, super good. Okay, let's get this window opened up so we can see the outside world. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Again, guys, thanks for coming along with me and checking out the Horseshoe Bend Campground. This has been fabulous. It's a good retreat. I urge you guys to check this one out if you're ever in this portion of Arkansas. Remember, there's tons of cool things to do in this area. And in fact, you're going to see several videos that will be uploaded sharing some of those things. I have had a wonderful time in this area, but you know, you know what they say, it can't last forever. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. So I definitely had a good time here and I think you would too. Till next time guys, bye.